That's December 31st, 1610, Leiden, Netherlands. A 70-year-old man died. Interestingly, two numbers were engraved on the tombstone by his wife. Those two numbers are the upper and lower bounds of pi, up to 35 decimal places, which is a record then. They engraved the upper and lower bounds of pi, but not any single value, because as we know, pi is an irrational number. This credit goes to the man who is in the tomb because he is the first to calculate the exact value of pi up to 35 decimal places, breaking the record of Adrian van Roemen, who calculated up to 15 decimal places. He is Ludolf van Seelen, a German-Dutch mathematician. He was born in 1540 in Germany, but spent most of his life living in the Netherlands. He was the son of a merchant and was too poor to go to university. This means that he couldn't learn Latin or Greek which was a big disadvantage because most academic writing was done in those languages. Despite these setbacks, Rudolf made a good living by teaching and fencing and also managed to learn mathematics. Rudolf couldn't read mathematical texts for himself. But in 1586, his friend translated approximation of pi. This must have made a big impression on Rudolf as he spent the next 25 years of his life improving on his approximation. Archimedes have a clever and creative way of approximating pi value. He inscribed a hexagon inside a circle and also circumscribed another hexagon outside the same circle. He then calculated perimeters and diameters for both these hexagons, leading to an upper and lower bound for pi. The next step was to keep in increasing the number of sides for the inscribed and circumscribed polygons. Archimedes got as far as working with a 96-sided polygon which produced a value for pi which was between 3 and 1 by 7 and 3 and 10 by 71. Rudolf van Seulen used Archimedes methods and extended them to working with a polygon which had 2 to the power of 62 sides. The shape really seems to be a circle. This produced a 35 digit approximation of pi and took 25 years of calculation which were done by hand without any calculators. But unfortunately, only 20 places of pi value are published in 1596 in his book, Van den Krikel, which means on the circle, before his death. Later, 35 decimal places of pi were published in a book, Cyclometricus, which was written by his student, Willy Broad Snellius. Willy Broad Snellius is one of the greatest men in the history of science. He proposed the famous Snell's law, which plays an important role in optics. Van Seulen's 35 digits is more than enough accuracy for any scientific purpose, but the curiosity to explore more and more of pi never ends. But today's record for the number of decimal places of pi calculated is 5 into 10 to the power 13 decimal places. This record was created by Timothy Mulliken using a supercomputer and calculated in 303 days. The value was verified by using Bellard's 7 term BBP formula and it took 17 hours to verify. Rudolfian's approach towards pi is so creative and difficult, but it inspired many mathematicians. Mainly Germans used to call this magical number as Rudolfian number. That's why pi is also called as a Rudolfian number. <laughs>